Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to continue the Prusa MK3 build and do step 4, the C-axis assembly. So let's get started after the intro. So the first step is uh, to place the plastic brackets on the country. You have tighten up uh, by 10 millimeter screws. So there's three screws uh, for each, each part. The holes uh, should be outward, so it's like this. Now those are in, in on both sides and the holes for the smooth rods are on the outside part you have to make sure that is uh, correct when you put this together and the next step is to get the C motors prepared and they are marked uh, with C axis right and, and C axis uh, left the only difference basically is the length of the cable so you don't uh, uh, have to remove the excess cabling uh, at a later time so uh, just make sure you have the correct uh, motors in the right places and they take tell you to take this piece off Now you have to insert the, the covers uh, that goes on the motor shaft. And they should go all the way down, but uh, do not tighten them. A little bit stiff. Turn this one a little bit back, it was a little bit too tight. So that's done. The next step is to assemble the motors. Uh, and the shorter cable is on the left side. And the longer cable is on the right side. And we will use 8mm uh, screws. So like this, and the cable should be facing uh, to towards the country. I have to put those screws in. Just make sure the cable is, is not uh, clamped in any way uh, behind the motor before you tighten everything up. Get all four screws in before you start tightening the screws. Now do the same for the left side. And they tell you not to not to over tighten the screws so you don't break the parts. So that is done. Now you prepare the x-axis uh, motor nuts. They will have to go inside those small holes. Inside here. And in here. So you have to push them in there. This is my third cut. This is not very uh, common here on the table with me, but uh, this is. <laughs> This is a female cat, but the other two are, are male. So now when you uh, insert the, the motor nuts, uh, you have to make sure you 
orient them in the correct way. So the, the plastic will uh, align into the hole. And, uh, and you use uh, eight millimeter screws to secure them in place. Those are actually 10 millimeter screws, not 8 millimeter screws. And then you do the same on the other side. So that step is done, that is step 6. And they, uh, you have to make sure this is oriented this way, not the other way around. And uh, there are four holes, but there. Uh, there are four holes in the in the nut, but it doesn't matter uh, what are used. Just use two holes, and now the next step is to assemble the x-axis and the smooth rods. So the next step is to insert the x guides uh, on the on the motor, uh, and you have to be careful uh, to align them properly and, and turn them at the equal uh, speed so then will not be skewed too much and don't use any force when placing placing those on uh, so now they're uh, a little bit down to place the smooth rods uh, through the bearings and they say be very careful to push the smooth rods through the bearings so it won't uh, drop out any any bolts so uh, so yeah, I got one one ball going out. And they say uh, if you if you lose one or two balls, it's okay. If you if you lose more, you should get new bearings. So one ball is is uh, okay. But I was trying to be very careful uh, on, on this side. It was not a problem. And now you have to press the rods uh, into the hole of the motor mount. So now that is in, in, in place. So uh, yeah, they just tell you again, make sure if, if you drop more than two balls, uh, then you should get a new bearing. But I'm okay with one going out. So the next step is to install the top uh, top parts they're placed over the smooth rod and and the axis and here there are uh, four screws to hold them in place and just making sure the plastic is aligned to the frame so it isn't skewed to the other side. And always get both screws in before you tighten them fully. And that is done. And they say don't over tighten those screws. And the next part is to place a belt. So you have to do a loop like this and they tell you to make sure the end of the loop is not sticking out of the plastic so you just have to make it as short as, as possible In. It was a bit difficult to, to get it as, as short as possible. Uh, now you thread the belt through the through the end here and around the pulley. It goes over the pulley and underneath on the back and it goes. Uh, between like so and around the 
זה מאוד טוב, אייטלר. to adjust it if, if the tension is too little or too much. I think the tension is, is pretty good on the first try. There is a, there is a tiny bit of uh, belt sticking out in the end here. Just maybe uh, three or uh, four millimeters. It's sticking out. I'm just fastening the screws again for the motor. Now they tell you to adjust the pulley and make sure the belt is uh, not rubbing against the side of the pulley. I have to move it a little bit outwards. I think it's in a in a good good place. One thing to note also is to have a look from the other side, from the pulley from this end, to see how it uh, is on the wheel here. Uh, if it's uh, not aligned, you can move the the belt a little bit in the grooves back and forth. But, uh, from, from my side, it is uh, at a good place, I think. So this is, uh, this is okay, I think. So they make sure that you uh, test the belt tension. And I think it's in a good place. And they tell you to clap on the, clap on the pulley. Uh, and, and see if you can move the carrots. Um, it's it's not moving, so this is like it should be. So now the C axis is, is finished. So that was step four in the instructions. Uh, the C uh, axis is 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 in place, and the X axis is. Is, uh, has his belt on, and uh, so this step is, is done. It was a, a pretty short procedure to mount this everything together, the, the motors and uh, the country uh, fastened up at the top. So uh, for now, uh, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next step where we continue the belt.